In the heart of Dakar, the Senegalese capital, a dozen artists have put the finishing touches to a monument that pays tribute to black pride in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. More tourists passing through the capital can now see an 80-meter stretch of faces of activists and black personalities immortalized on concrete. The wall, it makes the history of the African people. Here in Africa, in Europe, in the United States, and all over the world, it's a way of relating, of speaking, of giving back, of paying tribute to those who have marked the black people, those who have made gestures, those who made the ultimate sacrifice for the African people. Alongside the painting of stern-eyed Malcolm X, are American athletes Tommy Smith and John Carlos, positioned, waving their fists. Senegalese historian Sheikh Anta Diop and American abolitionist Harriet Tubman have also been painted. We didn't want to just paint a wall to say rest in peace George Floyd. We wanted to send a strong message to the whole African nation, whether it's in Africa, whether it's also outside of Africa. We represented, for example, the Black Panthers who had a really legitimate fight to defend the black people. We represented Winnie Mandela who fought in South Africa to really end apartheid. Malcolm X, Mamshek Ibrahima falls on a religious and cultural level who also contributed a lot to forge the Senegalese youth. A few weeks ago, the collective adorned the streets of the city with several dozen graffiti to raise awareness of the gestures that are biased to the contraction of COVID-19 and to pay tribute to caregivers. The Senegalese and grassroots African artists say their works are targeted at present and future generations of young Africans who need to be reminded of the fact that some blacks sacrifice their lives so that others could live with dignity.